Hello and welcome to Modern Rarity for Dummies, the how-to show for Modern Rarity dummies just like me. Now, it's a cold October day in South Dakota. In fact, it's 20 degrees colder than it was yesterday at its coldest. Yeah, yesterday was set, uh, well, yesterday was September, today is October. It's a cold day. And we had our first chili for the season. Yeah, you know, chili since sept since last spring when it was cold. But now it's time to start working on those tricky turnouts, the most tricky part of ballasting. So, without any further ado about complaining about the cold, wet rain that we've had today, let's head on over to the layout and start ballasting. Okay. Um, I gotta give a quick apology. Um. I had two recordings of the two turnouts, one with my audio and one without. And for some reason, I must have forgotten to push the record button or something, or I lost it somehow. So this is what's going to be the non-audio version. So uh, I'm just going to have to overview it. So basically what I'm doing here is a lot like I did before with basically just I got full strength white glue and I'm dabbing it onto the road bed just like you do for normal ballasting. Okay, now I'm going to be using our ballast again. Once again, it's Chicago Northwestern from Arizona Rock and Mineral. So I'm going to place it lightly along the edge because I don't want a full strength coating just yet. I just want a fairly light coating and then have a second round later on. around the switching stand area. And filling it in on the other side of the stand. Now, when you're doing it here with this type of turnout, you're going to want to make sure that you don't cover too much so that it can't move easily. Okay, now, now here's the tricky part. Now, as you see, I'm being very careful to fill up that first one, but as you see, I kind of screwed up there. But the main point is you do not want to get any ballast in the part where that rod is. So you notice how I'm pushing all the excess ballast away from the points. And that's the key. I mean, I pushed it a little bit there, but for the most part, push always push it away from the points. That's 
and and this is another reason why to make sure that you paint your row your sub row bed black before you put the turnouts down. So that way, by not having any ballast in that one area, it's not going to cause any major problem. Now, right now I'm just sort of lightly filling it in in those other areas around the frog. The key point being here is when you rub it all down, you make sure that there are no granules stuck anywhere where they might cause derailments. And once again, be, I'm being extremely careful around the points. So I just sort of make sure you have a fairly empty spoon. You better at having a little bit less on your spoon and a little bit more in case you do happen to screw it up. Now you can see here while I'm trying, I'm using a, I don't remember what blade it is, to get the granules out of the rail guards and also out of the frog. So the last thing you want are granules there because that could cause derailments. I'm also using this to kind of push the granules under the rails because, you know, it, it's hard to get the ballast under the rail portions. Now, once again, I, I need a little bit more to fill in because I lowered the level a little bit. So I'm being very careful just to lightly tap the spoon. Once again, just pushing the ballast away from the ends of the points and any granules that kind of get around. You want to make sure that right here where the rails are, make sure you get all the little ballast down because that could cause trouble with uh, electrical continuity. So you want to make sure. So I had the turnouts in the half halfway position. So that way, you can see down both sides. Okay, now take some 70% isopropyl alcohol and then just douse it through just like before with the other track. Just get it all nice and wet.
Okay, now that the... We've soaked all the granules with 70% ice alcohol. Now we'll soak it all through with... My homemade scenic cement. This is again 50% water. 50% uh, Elmer's white glue. Plus two or three drops of dis dish soap to help break the tension. I forgot to start recording this. So I've already got most of the ballast in. It's just the same as before. And once again, I'm being extremely careful to make sure there, that there are no granules that could get in the way of the points. Because that is by far the most important part. Making sure that there are no granules where they could cause trouble. Okay, once again, it's just a simple process of wetting down the new ballast. Once that's wetted down, glue it down with scenic cement.
And so that is how you ballast a turnout. Okay, that is going to be it. We are done with our three-part series on ballasting track. And I tell you, it was really fun. A lot of people have problems ballasting and they absolutely hate it. But, you know, it really isn't all that bad. Just take your time and enjoy yourself. It, it's senior work. And I, I actually don't mind ballasting. This two-day project, it, I've had fun. It's a great rainy day project, which it has been raining for the past two days, off and on. Sometimes it's raining, sometimes it's not. Right now, as, as I'm recording this, it's raining. But, you know, you can put on an audiobook like I did, and you can, you can listen to a book, and you can, you can actually enjoy yourself. And my nice thing about ballasting is you can take a little section of track, and you can ballast it. If, if that's all you got time to work on your model railroad right now, just ballast that one little section. You feel like you got something done, and it did take too long. And if you do have to get interrupted in the middle of it, no big deal. You can get back to it later, no problem. So, ballasting is really, actually can be really quite fun. So, if you have liked this little series on ballasting, Please feel free to leave likes underneath each of the videos. And if you do like this, these videos and this channel, please feel free to subscribe and make sure you hit the little bell icon so that you receive notifications when I release new content. So, keep working on your model railroads, keep having fun, and until next time, keep your trains on the tracks.